the golden gun. Um, the golden gun uh, has 55 damage. Um, it's from close range. It's a two-hit kill, and with close, I mean like just player to player touching each other. Um, it's a three-hit kill on mid-range, and it's a four-hit kill on long range, and long range is halfway across the map in oil rig. Um, has 39, 93 portability. Uh, I thought that it's one of the fastest weapons in game. It even is faster than any pistol and any knife. And that's actually the only good thing about it. It uh, has 24 rate of fire. That's quite similar to uh, Anaconda Gold. It's pretty slow, but decent for its damage. It has 64 QRC. That's actually pretty good. Although, um, you can't shoot headshots and anything good decent headshots across the map with it, you can't just too bad for it, and it's recoil 68, that's just huge the recoil should be a bit lower to be more controllable, but it's just a little bit too big, it only has a um, single fire mode and it has a magazine uh, from 6 over 24 and as you can see the gun shoots quite fast and the tree kill goes up huge and now for the slower test and it keeps the tree kill um, normal but it's just nothing and the gun is really fast and the gun is quite good but boom um, I prefer using uh, fast shooting pistols, although this one has um, pretty decent damage, as you can see. Always more damage in the back. Um, the speed is just amazing. It's it's one of the fastest guns, and this gun is actually the gun that James Bond uses in his uh, films. And it's like the golden uh, pistol that he made out of all this stuff he had with him. I don't know, I, I never really watched the, the movies, but I know a bit about him. Um, yeah, the gun's recoil is pretty high. Um, you can manage it, but it's not the best recoil. And I don't really have good aim with slow shooting pistols, as you can see. I don't know, with faster shooting ones I have better aim than with slow shooting and the gun is pretty decent for mid range although it's a bit uh, weaker than um, yeah but um, for 24 fire rate it shoots really fast and you can easily spray it um, close quarter combat at least with a bit aim better than mine <laughs> um, yeah, what to say about the gun. The only thing cool about it, it, it looks gold and it's like a fire lighter and uh, I don't know what else but the gun is uh, made out of three items and one of them is a fire lighter. That's the only thing I know about it. But negative. Yeah. Oh, negative. Okay, sorry. And yeah, see it's pretty decent for spraying at mid-range and its accuracy is pretty high although I couldn't get a uh, across the map headshot with it because every gun is like if you aim perfectly it goes a bit more to the left or to the right and I couldn't find out which way it was with the pistol um, and this um, this video is also a bit shorter because I really didn't like the pistol and I couldn't make any good frapses with it and yeah that's just it but I made one accolade with it and it will be coming soon further than that um, never mind And for its fire rate and recoil, it's um, it's a bit underrated gun because um, its fire rate is a bit too slow uh, compared to its damage and to its recoil. 
um, the Rika should be less, or the fire rate should be more, or the damage should be like two points higher. It's a two hit kill from close quarter, but needs to be a bit better. And here comes to accolade, and that's it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. It's not much, I know, but I wouldn't recommend the pistol. Uh, it's absolutely not worth it. You're better off with a USP SE or just a M1911. See you guys soon for the next review or next vid. Bye.